Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the, the major overall cleanup of my life. I'm going to clean up and set up all my pots as much as I can today. I also plan on some of my seasons that I have had to learn about in the last couple days. So let's get started. Okay, <clears throat> welcome back. So I have cleaned up the mess over here. That's all gone now. Now I'm gonna lay some um, fabric down, landscape fabric, so that I can kill off the grass on this side here. So it look more nice. So let's take a quick, quick, quick. fill up all the strawberry towers. I finish in this bed, clean out in here, fluff up this soil, clean up here, I'm going to mulch all of here, okay, so let's lay the landscape fabric along here. So I'm gonna see how big I have to lay the landscape. <clears throat> I have this 100 gallon row bag. That is huge.
when my baby's out to get some sun. Tomorrow we'll be planting me. Okay, so this is a quick update of what I've done so far. These two beds here. One is going to have asparagus and one is going to have onions. The beautiful new peach tree. I think this is a Red Haven. Yes, Red Haven. I finished the strawberry tower. So that's the second one over here. I clean up the mess here. So that's done. I also finished cleaning up and prepping this bed. Now just to add some compost and some potting soil or garden soil, whichever one. So that's done for now and mulch the floor. And then to finish up the beds. <coughs> I bought my apple tree out, honey crisp. All my fruit trees, honey crisp apple. All my edges, the blueberry is waking up. Yeah, the blueberries waking up. I gotta give it a fig. I haven't seen anything yet. And then the berries. So, the raspberries. So yeah, the garden is coming along. Cannot wait to finish prepping the garden and to start planting out. Alright then, come along with me this year as we start um, 2023 gardening season. Cannot wait. And I hope you enjoy my channel. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> and watch me transfer them to my beautiful garden. All right. Hello, welcome back to Yoli's Choice. Today we are gonna do a full garden tour update and also plant out my asparagus. I have them here soaking, so we're gonna try and get these planted out today. And also a full garden tour so let's get into that right now here these are way past overdue to go into the ground so let's see how much we can get today in the ground I have my tomatoes my thyme that's my let's meet Ivy the potatoes is coming up Peach tree, the cherry tree. I haven't seen anything from the pear yet. I also purchased a new yellow delicious, which is one of my favorite apples. Also, over here we have honey crisp. We also have another peach tree here. These died. Hopefully they might come back in the sun, kill them. And here, my fig tree. I haven't seen anything yet, but and the blueberry. <coughs> Dandelion. Okay, let's take a look at this fig tree. Let's see. Oh yes, this one's waking up. Okay, you're still alive. And the berries. The berries are out. I have to trim out these ends. Okay.
I have finished asparagus bed. So now let's plant some asparagus. And I started soaking some water here, so now we're gonna plant up.
Okay. These are the asparagus I started from seeds and then also some that's from a crown that I bought. So this is a full asparagus bed. Okay. That's done. First job finished. My onion bed is looking lovely. Everything is coming up real nice. It's chamomile. This is the raised garden bed for now. We have all kohlrabis in the front. We have beans and long beans here and bush beans. Broccoli and cauliflower. Back there all the okras. Right here, some peppers. It's looking real good, looking real good. My grapevine is looking nice, real nice. I'm even seeing little baby clusters. So this is his third year. Yeah. I'm so hello hello welcome back to Yoli's Chores. Um today is a beautiful day and let's do a quick walkthrough of the garden. I will be going on vacation soon, so let's see what is going to be of the garden now and then when I return from vacation in a few days. So let's start off with the peas. Right here is my um, snap peas, sugar snap peas. And my fig tree is waking up nicely. I don't know if my strawberry is surviving, but we'll just see what happens here. All right, beautiful flowers. I bought a new raspberry bush, the yellow, the yellow one. So this is my newest purchase. It's already giving me little babies. Over here, I don't know what happened with my strawberry bed, my tower. I will try again and see what happens when one is going strong. Okay, over here, the potatoes. It's looking good, looking good. This mess gotta get cleaned up. All right, over here, my sugar pear tree um, did not wake up. So let's see, I gotta take a picture for the company. All right, my raspberries, my blackberries back there. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness talk about berries this year this beautiful apple tree here yes oh i see i see i see so some apples coming in this is a dwarf honey crisp <gasps> so many berries this is also a new purchase which is the lemon no is it 
which one is this the lemon blueberry so I'm happy to find that at Lowe's this is my kiwi vine and that is broken up from since last year and I'm happy to see that these are um, I think these are my pepino melons I'm not too certain in here so last year I had ground cherry in here and as you can see there are tons of ground cherries popping up inside here wow 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 okay over here we also have tomatillo I think this is the purple one I don't remember there's a purple tomatillo out of all the garlics I planted only five of them is still going strong and this is my other apple tree this is my yellow delicious and then my tomato bed which I'm going to stake up before I go on vacation these are extra tomato that I'm gonna give away and yeah I have quite a few extra ones so in this first bed here is the honeycomb and then this one here I have the red cherry this one is a sweet 100 and I bought this is oregano it seems to like this spot which is good and then over here I have yellow pear I thought I had a Roma anyway and behind there I have yellow perfection and delicious oh, this is chamomile oh it smells so good something's eating it I have to spit for something to get rid of these little ants that I'm seeing. I think they're the one eating, eating my chamomile. Okay. I have some cabbage that I need to plant out before I leave to go on vacation. And I'm going to take the greenhouse off because I'll be gone. So the greenhouse is going to come off. Okay. Over here is also tomatillo. I think I have too many plants here, but I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. All of them sprouted. So I'm just going to leave that and see what happens to that. This is my peach tree. And oh, look at these beauties. Wow. Look at these beauties. And asparagus bed. Wow, look at them. Are they getting seeds? So this is a female one. So how do they all have seeds? They look like they all have seeds. Okay. So this is one grapevine here that I'm going to transplant. And over here is supposed to be my gooseberry, but it did not wake up either. This is a raspberry that I had put in there that seems to be coming up. And then this is another grapevine that I have. And then my apple tree. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that. Wow. I have quite a few and they're a good size already. So. Oh wow, look at that. Okay. This is the cherry tree. I haven't seen anything yet on my cherry tree. Okay. I have to plant these two down before I go on vacation too. So I don't want them to die before I get back. This is my persimmon tree which has woken up beautifully and I'm happy. And then we have the onion bed, which is really taken off. And this is also another peach tree here. 
and then I have some more onions in there it's crazy the ones that I just threw inside here is <laughs> It's looking really good. With me though, Alright, let's take a look in the greenhouse. The fig tree. It's really good. Oh my goodness, look at this dandelion. Wow. I'm gonna pull up that dandelion, but wow, look at the fig tree this year. Okay, and of course, the grapevine. The grapevine. Okay, I think it's looking. Hello, unhand my rosemary. <laughs> it has taken refuge in my rosemary. There's so many little grape clusters. This is its third year. And I'm very happy to see that there's grapes. Okay, now in the bed, we have, oh, look at that mint. It's coming up so nice. I think it likes being in here, you know, it's, yeah, it likes being in here. So, we have broccoli and kohlrabi, cauliflower here, and also we have some beans, a long beans here. Don't know which one is which. We will figure out as the season go on together. In front here, we have our kohlrabis. The white one and the purple one and they're looking good now I have put peppers all over so these are peppers over here we have pak choy which is coming up good I'm gonna probably like put them down a little more and back there we have okra and more peppers over here has sprouted Okay, another okra over there. And then over here is eggplant that is sprouting up, which is good. And another egg in the storeroom. So this is the garden before my vacation. And um Yeah, so we'll see what happens when I return from vacation. How much it has grown. Alright then, so I'm having a very early start usually I don't have this much stuff planted out yet so I'm looking forward to having a really really 